There we go. Hi guys, this is Jeffrey with Jeffrey and Mary's side by siding adventures. We're getting ready to go to Gaff Topsails. I uh, met this fine gentleman here, Idley from um, Triton or Robert Robert's Arm. From Robert's Arm. He's a havoc biker or side by sider. And he got the quite quite the gadgets rigged up on his bike, I must say. You can tell experience from novice. <laughs> Put the two bikes side by side. Anyway, we're hoping to have a good day. The rain is uh, slacking off here. Hopefully we'll see, see some animals. And I'm sure we're going to see some nice scenery. And oh, by the way, this is Scotty over here, my son. Wife couldn't make it today. His girlfriend is actually out visiting, so she stayed home with her. And they're home doing crafts, I do believe, with the cricket that... Uh, that she got there and uh here we go here we go the camera's moving anyway we're getting ready to leave here now i'll show shoot a few shots of the trail and I'll grab a few pictures for you guys to see a little bit later on hope you enjoy hope you keep following Here you see the uh, trail that we're on right now, Tall's Pond Road, and we will drive about 19, 20 kilometers uh, in, and we should hit the rail bid. And here we are now at the rail bid. This is Scotty. He was driving for quite a bit today, and uh, just taking a quick view of my bike, Ranger 900 XP, awesome machine. I'd recommend this machine to anyone. And our buddy here, Edley Rideout, he has the same machine, just a different year. Uh, he got her decked out. He's quite experienced with trail riding. And um, well, as you can see, he got all the gadgets and bells and whistles set up on his bike. And he's well prepared for any scenario that may happen on the trail. I really love these old bridges that have been left behind from the old rail bed. It uh, puts an, actually a, some kind of nice look to the scenery. Um, taking pictures of these bridges from the drone would be awesome. But as you can see today is a bit of rain and fog. So I wouldn't take the chance on putting the drone in the air. Not sure the name of this river. But... Train track, bridge, train bridge, and the river. Yeah, we're here on the train tracks again and uh, heading to the rock quarry, is it? I think we're going to stop there and uh, have lunch. And I might uh, break out the video camera again and if the rain holds up. I might put the drone up and uh, do a little fly around. Here we are now arriving at the rock quarry. Uh, being the first time air, I thought we would take a lot longer to get this far. So I guess it wouldn't so far as I thought it was after all. Anyhow, I think this is where we're going to set up for lunch. And... Uh, I'm going to just take a little walk around and see what this rock quarry is all about. It looks like to me there have been quite a few people here in the past. They've been using the rocks for a guest book. Um, I wish, yeah, there is dates. I can see dates and names so you get an idea of who and when people were here in the past. Uh, I kind of like the names written on the rocks actually. Because it uh, leaves behind uh, res uh, remnants, I guess, or history of people that's been here. Uh, it's better to leave names on rocks than garbage in the bush. So, uh, yes, uh, by all means, as far as I'm concerned, 
put your name on a rock that way people know who was here before apparently this granite quarry was uh, used for trussel construction on the railway bid here in Newfoundland not sure if they uh, used it from St. John's to Port of Bass or just in central Newfoundland but if anyone else has any history on this granite quarry just drop it in the comments below There's no road to them these days. No. Only in wintertime. Here you see uh, Idley's bike. Uh, it's a Polaris 900 XP. He has a lift kit. I think he said it gives him an extra six inches on the bottom. And or clearance I should say. And he's quite well decked out for the trail riding. He has a box built uh, in the back and the box actually converts into a table for when he's launching. Inside the cab we got the in-reach system where you can text anywhere, anytime, uh, always in connection with satellite systems in the sky so it don't rely on cell service. And he has GPS and a cell phone GPS. Spare tank of gas, and he got another little box in the back here, and we will see what this is all about shortly. So how long have you been at this racket now? Quite side by side. I don't always in the woods. Yeah. So I've had, uh, this is the second bike I've had. Okay. I had a Prowler before that, Articat. Okay, Articat. Are you find Articat? Not as good as this. Ah, there you go. That's not a moss there. <laughs> So this is 900 as well, is it? Yeah, same as yours. Same as mine, yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Is that you or Potter? Yeah. It's my... <laughs> Look at this. Throw it in. And we got the real MacGyver. I don't know if I want to show this video to the wife because then she'll, uh, you know, there you lose go. that. Get up closer. <laughs> yes, sir, your utensils there and your burner is there. Put my spot tea. Yes, sir. A man can survive. <laughs> yes. Now, right. boys, look at this. Now, this is the stuff. This is what this is what Newfoundland is made of, boys. Outdoors in the wilderness, eating smoke. What do you say, smoke earrings? Is it or mackerel? Mackerel. Smoke mackerel. Man, look. Oh, I can smell that now. I can't wait to get me jaws on it. <laughs> Italy over there is over the stuff that he's got there. <laughs> Yes, sir. Yeah, Scotty, we meet, met the right person here today. <laughs> Hi, guys. This is Jeffrey with Jeffrey and Mary's Side by Siding Adventures. We're here with Italy and Scotty. We have reached our destination. The sun came out. The rain stopped, obviously, and it is gorgeous. I put the drone up for about what two minutes seemed like there was no wind but uh, when we walked up over gaff that uh, we discovered i'd say is what strong wind up there <laughs> yeah what 60 kilometers 60, for sure 70, yeah. 60 70 kilometer winds up there for sure uh so i only got a couple seconds maybe a minute video actually on the drone so i will put that on on this uh, clip as well having a great day thanks to mr headley here 
and uh, for showing us how to get here, showing us the trail up to Gaff, and Scotty for coming out for the weekend, and uh, we're having a grand old time. Oh, we had a delicious lunch. Um, well, Scotty had pizza. Well, myself and Italy, we had smoked mackerel. Mackerel, I will not remember that. Smoked mackerel, but it was awesomely delicious. Thanks to Andy for that, that, and thanks to his buddy for giving it to him. <laughs> it was really, really, really good, I must say. So, I hope you're enjoying these videos. Um, stay tuned. So here we are at top of Gaff Topsails in central Newfoundland. Um, I got the drone in the hair to show you a few little clips of the area. I uh, discovered once I got her up that the wind was quite strong. Uh, we estimated at 60 or 70 kilometers, so I only got a minute or so air, and I hope you enjoy this little quick uh, video of the drone in the air over gaff topsails. Here we took a little trail that took us to the top of Gaff Topsails and uh, right now you can actually hear how strong the wind was. Uh, fortunately for us it was really warm, 17, 18 degrees and I still had a short sleeve shirt on and it was still quite comfortable. I had to open up the legs on my tripod uh, just in case the wind uh, toppled over my camera but uh, it didn't and uh, I'm glad of that. But it was uh, quite strong, I must say, as you can hear in the background there. Beautiful scenery, uh, beautiful place. It's uh, nice to see all this flat land and all of a sudden, out of nowhere, a mountain just jumps right in the hair, uh, three or four hundred meters high. Uh, it's quite unique. <laughs> 